All right, guys. Today we have our second SH Monster Arts figure unboxing. Today we got Burning Godzilla from the 1995 movie Godzilla vs. Destroyer. So before we open this up, let's just show you guys the box. So we got a nice picture of Godzilla. Looks menacing. Nice little sticker shows that it comes with little Mazer cannons. So in this side we have nice some cool gold Godzilla name. Back, we got some posability pictures, little info on it that I can't read, a little what the poster for the movie looked like in the corner. It's pretty neat. I like how they do that. And then this side is just a picture of Godzilla, more of the Godzilla title. Bottom, it's whatever. Top, it's Godzilla. Godzilla. So yeah, let's just open this up and show you guys the figure. Uh, how poseable he is, the sculpt, everything it comes with. Oh boy. Ooh. You can see, there's Godzilla. Comes with two pairs of hands and the little Mazer tape. Fuck you. Damn. What the hell? We got. Oh wow. God, that is so cool. Okay. Put up a little bit. Ooh. All right. Where do I even start here? Um. This looks really nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, just look at the paint and everything. Like the spikes. Then they turn into. God damn it! This is cool. It turns white. That's cool. I move his tail. Yeah, his tail is very uh, Godzilla tail. Very movable. Super posable, and it stays where you want it to be. It's just, those spikes just look amazing. That's weird. Anyway, so what's? I guess what? Just, this, this looks amazing. God damn it! So we have. I'm gonna put the camera up a little bit. Right, you suck. <laughs> Just trying to get a better view of Godzilla. Yeah. Yeah. He deserves it. Yeah. Okay. Now we're now we're good. So here is what he looks like. His face, his mouth opens, of course. Head moves around, his eyes are scary looking. Menacing. Yeah, look like orange pupils and everything. This is a pretty nice, like, big figure, too. Like, I like it. And then all, like, his melty down parts, orange everywhere. It just looks amazing. Just looks really nice. Okay, his arms. His arms can. Nice, decent range of motion for Godzilla. If you mess with it enough, which I don't want to do, you can make it turn 360s. Arms move around. His hand got a nice little. Feels nice. His elbows kind of got a bend to him. Go pretty straight and then bend like almost 90 degrees. Pretty nice. Both his arms can do that. Then we got 
Damn it, your tail's too big. It's midsection. Nice little amount of turning. It like, goes oh, up and down. Kinda. Not too much though. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> His legs are like Woo! Crazy. Legs can go up and down. Crazy amount of leg action. Yeah, I like it. Then his, his knees don't seem to want to move at all. They have like this weird loose part. I don't know what the hell's up with that. I don't really want to break it if I try to move it. See if his other one. Yeah, his knees don't really move. But his feet sure do. His feet can move around pretty, pretty nicely. But his knees are completely blocked. Yeah, they're they're not gonna move. Which is weird. Then we got his tail movement. The, I'm having a hard time moving this part, but like this can go everywhere. I don't know if it's just like because it's been inside the box for so long or what, but yeah, his pretty nice ranger movement with his tail go all over the place. Feels really nice. Yeah, it's mostly this part that can move. This section completely does not move at all. But it's, that's all right. It still, still looks nice. Still a Godzilla tail. And then I can curve upward like that. We have another set of hands. And then little, little tiny Mazer cannons. These. Yeah, they can move. That's something. It's, that works. Woo, 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 woo. Paint job's minimal, but it's a little figure, so I'm not really going to yeah, be judgmental just, on it. There's little tanks to derp around with. Yeah. Pew, pew. Pretty nice. This and one, for yeah, Godzilla this one. to smash with his massive tail. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah. And then his hands come off easily. Go on, fair enough, I guess. Wow, so nice. Oh god. So yeah, those are his other hands. I mean, even like his mouth is like really detailed. You can see like. Oh my. The rows of teeth in his mouth. That's There's quite a few rows of that. And then, I don't know if I really showed the back enough. So you got white dorsal spikes and then the cool melty down orange ones and it leads back to white throughout the rest of his tail. It looks weird, but I really like it. Like, you, yeah. you think the whole tail would be orange, but it's actually, it's, it. Or I like it. The, the paint is really nice on this. So now we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys what he looks like compared to the 1964 Godzilla. He is definitely taller than him. Yep. That is, this is a small Godzilla. Bigger and badder. Yeah, that's, these look, but they do look nice. Like both these figures look amazing. Yeah. Wow, look at this difference in the tails. <laughs> That's that's a lot. That's a lot of tail from this this one. The other, this tail is about the length of the other Godzilla. It's rather ridiculous how long his tail is. Yeah, almost the length of the other Godzilla. <laughs> but yeah, they these do look pretty good together though, because they are Godzillas. So yeah, um, yeah. Hope you guys like this little unboxing slash review of S H Monster Arts Burning Godzilla. Really cool figure. He isn't too expensive. I think I only got him for like, I don't know, 70 bucks on Amazon. It's not too bad, especially since he comes with like little little parts and another pair of hands, which is pretty cool. Because usually Godzilla's just come with beams and stuff, but this is different. This is neat. I like it. See, so yeah, I hope you guys found this informative on like more SNH Monster Arts lines, because we do have plenty more of those coming out. 
Because I got Ghidorah, Destroya, and Mechagodzilla coming up, which are pretty cool. Can't wait to open those because those figures are awesome. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you kind of like and subscribe because we do have plenty more unboxings of figures and card games and all that cool stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you later.